What is up everybody and welcome back to the maths guy. Today we're looking at how to find the surface area of a cone. Let's jump into it. Okay, so when we're finding the surface area of a cone, we can use the formula area of the base plus the lateral area. So this capital B stands for the area of the base, which would be this circular shape at the bottom. And then we add it to the area of this lateral area which is this cone shape. And of course, when we're finding the surface area, essentially what we're doing is we are trying to work out the area of the skin, if you like, around this shape. Sometimes it's easier to see that skin when we lay out our shape into its 2D net. So you can see here we have that cone shape unfolded and then we have the circular base. But then when we're working on the surface area of a cone specifically, we can break this formula down into two parts. This first part here, pi r squared, well that's going to give us the surface area of this circle, and then this second part, pi times radius times the lateral length, which is 7 centimeters here, that's going to give us the area of this cone-shaped segment. I apologize about this wiggly line in this part of the formula, that's not meant to be there. Okay, so let's put this into practice then with this example, and let's start by putting out my formula. So we have pi r squared, Again, let's remember that this is for the circle base, and that's going to get added to pi r l, which is our cone, if you like. Now we can start to input some of the data that we know. So just looking at pi r squared, and again remembering that that is the area of this circle here, and pi r squared is the formula for any circle. So what we've said here is that the radius is 4 centimeters, so therefore this part of the formula would be pi times 4 squared. Now I'm going to carry on working this out, and I'll end up with pi, and 4 squared is 16, so I'll have pi times 16. And here's where I get a couple of options, because I can either use the pi button on my calculator, or I could use the abbreviated version of pi, which is pi stands for 3.14. And 3.14 is the kind of accepted abbreviated version of pi. But I have my calculator, so I'm going to input this into my calculator, and do pi times 16, and that gives me an answer of 50.27. So the area of this circle is 50.27 centimeters squared. Now let's find out the area of this cone shape. So again, looking at the formula, we have pi r times l. So again, my r, my radius, equals 4 centimeters, and my l, my lateral length, is seven centimeters. So now I can just input that into my formula again. So I'd have plus pi times four times L. And remember when I put my pi next to my four without a multiplication symbol, we automatically use multiplication. So I've not forgotten it there. It's just a quicker way of writing it. So now again, I can just input that into my calculator and say pi times four times seven. And I get an answer of 87. 0.96. And remember, just a quick note, when we're multiplying, if all of our processes are multiplication, it doesn't matter which way around we put those numbers, we're going to get the same answer. Just to prove it, I'll flip it around and I'll do L times 4 times pi. So L was 7 times 4 for the radius times pi, and I get exactly the same answer, 87.96. So now let's see what I've got. I've got the area of the circle and I've got the area of the cone shape. Now I need to add them together. So I've got 87.96, add 50.27, and I get a total of 138.23. And remember to put back my units, centimeters squared. And there we go, simple as that. That's how to measure the surface area of a cone. Your turn, have a go at measuring the surface area of this cone. Press pause on the video now, take your time, and put the answers in the comment section. Good luck. Okay, and there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel. But for now, peace out.